in Denmark, their area unit jewels that area unit in camera in hand by members of the royalty, there's a royal property trust, to that the Pearl Poi Iyer jeweled headdress, conjointly worn by Queen Margaret last week, belongs, and their area unit the crown jewels. The crown jewels belong to the Danish state and area unit on public show at Rosenborg Castle. Four main sets of jewelry which will still be worn by the powerful Queen area unit enclosed within the crown jewels, associate emerald and diamond jeweled headdress and incidental borrower, two sets of diamonds, and this set. Queen Margrethe borrows the jewels from Rosenborg for special occasions, however, they cannot be worn outside of Denmark. The jewelry of 19 massive pearls is that the oldest piece within the assortment, qualitative analysis back to the 1600s. It belonged to Queen Charlotte Amelie, 1650 to 1714, the woman of Christian V. However, the necklace's roots may need an additional shameful flair. Within the documentary Diamond State Conjolige Jeweler, Queen Margaret mentions speculation that the pearls might have belonged to Leonora Christina, Pierre Salfelt. 1621 to 1698, United Nations Agency was confined within the royal dungeon while not trial for over 20 years by Frederick III, her blood brother. Married off to Count Corfitz Saulfeld in an exceedingly political move by her father, her husband clothed to be a villainous character, his Wikipedia entry does not hold back, commonly legendary and recognized because the most infamous traitor in Danish history, and therefore the couple were fugitives on the run once her blood brother took the throne. Her wiki entry conjointly brings the intrigue, she typically spent weeks disguised as a person, once heading off arrest from Danish pursuers at the gun muzzle, and all over again the caresses of a dedicated barkeeper, the lad approving the tougher to flee, her ultimate capture light emitting diode to her extended imprisonment, from that, she was discharged solely once the death of her archenemy, Queen Sophie Amelie. The jewels confiscate from her might or might not have enclosed these pearls.
After centuries worn by serial Danish queens, the pearls have seen their share of history with or while not the speculatively in or a Christina association. They lost their luster once years while not used once Queen Ingrid, 1910 to 2000, a woman of Frederick IX and mother to Queen Margrethe, began to wear them. As told by Queen Margrethe within the said documentary, Ingrid brought them back to life by borrowing them to wear in the dead of night next to her skin, and therefore the jewelry has been in regular use ever since. The look of the remainder of the set, which has additional pearls and adds in diamonds and rubies, was finalized in 1840 by jeweler C. M. Schapt for Queen King of Great Britain Amelie, 1796-1881, Consort of Christian VIII. Queen Margaret is extremely artistic along with her jewels, and she's worn this perure in many ways. The garment is often used as completely different items, flexibility that permits her to wear it as a brooch in numerous sizes and with items connected to the pearl jewelry. She has used the jewelry with completely different brooches and has combined it with completely different tiaras at her disposal, sometimes choosing the pearl poi eye jeweled headdress or the floral plume jeweled headdress. The jewelry particularly has become a staple of her necessary event wardrobe, and appearances have enclosed the marriage of patrician composer and Alexandra Manley, the gala performance before the marriage of the prince couple, a day of remembrance dinners, and her recent 75th birthday banquet. With a history this made, it is easy to envision the charm. Thank you.